Summer Olympics, this young gymnast became a worldwide sensation. She's Nadia Komenich. And before you could count to ten, thousands of little girls in this country were kicking off their ballet slippers and eyeing the uneven parallel bars. Today, some of our top gymnasts are in the same position young Nadia was so many years ago. They're in training with the best gymnastics coach in the world. And who he is and where he came from is half of a great story. And the other half will keep you spellbound. Bob Brown tells us why the girls flip for Bella. For that moon that passed by the Alamo And rose my road to San Antonio When he heads for his ranch on a rural highway north of Houston, in his four-wheel drive, with Merle Haggard on the dashboard cassette deck and a day's collection of bugs on the windshield, well, you'd swear you were riding with a born Texan. When Bella Caroli defected to the West, he defected to the West. It's been six years since Caroli, a native Transylvanian who traveled here as the coach of Romania's gymnastic team, sought and received political asylum in this country. Now, on the property he bought with his earnings as a private coach in the U.S., he plays his newly acquired role as a part-time redneck to the hilt, including the name he gave his prize bull. That's up his Gorbachev. <laughs> Look at that dumb face. Beat up. Okay? Beat up. Aggressive. This is the image of Bella Caroli that the world has grown accustomed to seeing. The intense, relentless coach who now turns out championship gymnasts for the United States. And the side. This is a competition in Honolulu last November between the U.S. and China. Christy Phillips is one of the most promising of Caroli's new generation of students. Go faster. The second much faster than this one. That was all right. As a coach, Caroli seems able to synchronize his own energy with the athletes. When Christy Phillips began her next run at the vault, Bella shut out the world and locked on to her gathering speed. Coach and gymnast aiming toward goals in the future that Bella's other students helped establish in the past. Good. Come on, faster. <laughs> Mary Lou Retton, winner of the overall women's gymnastic competition in the 1984 Olympics, a student of Bella Caroli. On Caroli's world and Olympic champion Romanian teams, the brightest star was Nadja Comaneci the first Olympic gymnast ever to score a 10 for perfection. Has it made any difference that you train kids uh, under a communist system and now you're training kids under a capitalist system? That's a good question. One of the reasons I'm here now, because the government involvement in gymnastics, because a political system wanted uh, to take something from the honest work of the kids and my personal honest work and to say because we are a communist country with a strong communist mentality that's why our kids are so great don't mess politics with the gymnastics don't try to take something from their merit and if Ronald Reagan came out and they said hey Mary Lou Retton became an Olympic champion because I'm the president of the United States no the politics has nothing to do with Bella lives near Houston and has prospered here because of the gym he purchased in 1982 using his reputation as collateral. He has since expanded it into this huge facility. On any day, you will find it full of gymnasts, training according to their age and abilities, all of them female. When Bella and his wife Marta, as physical education instructors in Romania, first began to train kids, they noticed that boys already knew plenty of games and activities. And so, Bella and Marta concentrated on organizing physical programs for girls. 
tumbling, and gymnastics. Bella's success in building strong, consistent women's teams has attracted these tuition-paying students, well over 500 of them, from all parts of the country, to spend hours before and after school each day thinking and practicing and living gymnastics to train with Bella Caroli. Only a handful will have a chance to make the Olympics, but Caroli demands Olympic-style dedication from them all. Many times the parents are asking me on the very beginning, do you think she's going to become a great champion or she's going to be an Olympic champion? And honestly, I'm telling them, I don't know and nobody knows. And it would be our, our dirty lie to, say, to tell to you, yes, she's going to be an Olympic champion because I just can't predict that. But I do predict and I know, I'm telling you right now, she's going to be a winner anyhow. Going to be somebody who's going to handle her job no matter where and no matter in what circumstances with promptness with straightness and with good practical manner move it move it move it move it move it arms up faster mm -hmm. my god what you doing phoebe you're hitting the board on the very very edge over there on that corner smooth it out control yourself phoebe when other coaches have criticized Caroli, it has usually been for his toughness. He demands constant repetition. He aims toward building strength and endurance as well as finesse. Going out. I was telling, don't stop it. Move it round around one more time. Move and he can be cold and abrupt when he isn't pleased. You don't want to understand, I'm sorry. Bella is very tough in the gym. And I used to always smile because, you know, I did something good and I wanted to show it. And you'd look over for his approval and he'd be shaking his head like this. You know, nothing's perfect for him, which is good. That's how you make good gymnasts to be great gymnasts. Two of Caroli's best students, both 14 years old, are Phoebe Mills and Christy Phillips, the current U.S. Junior Women's Champion. Christy is the gymnast we saw Bella coaching earlier in a Honolulu competition. She and Phoebe train together. They are also competing for the same goals and dreams, the Olympics. Caroli knows that and uses it, as he has with other gymnasts in the past, to get each to try harder. As long as the competition is there, their progress is fast and consistent. But you put them together for that reason well, then, right? Well, I, I never stopped them to compete. And it would be a big mistake to stop them competing. That's all about. That's a competition. And I'm encouraging all the time the competition. And I love to see the competition. There is no competition, there is no improvement. What seems to balance Caroli's fearsome competitive streak is his flair for theatricality. Ah, uh, so how about that pretty lady, that colorful pretty lady right on the curves? He spent almost an hour getting into the makeup of another famous Transylvanian expatriate for this Halloween party at his gym. But like a lot of other immigrants, despite his obvious talents, Caroli did not, at first, find it easy to make a new life in this country. Bella and Marta have a daughter, Andrea, who became entangled in international bureaucracy and wasn't allowed to leave Romania and join her parents here until a year after their defection. Andrea is now 13. She isn't involved in competitive gymnastics, and that's fine with Bella. In those first months in America, waiting for word on his daughter, Bella worked as a cleanup man and on the docks in Long Beach, California, learning English by watching Sesame Street and by discussing with his wife after a day's work what his foreman had been yelling at him. And I said, I haven't learned a word, son of a bitch. She said, oh, I, you know, what, what does it mean? And I said, I don't know, but let, let's get the, the dictionary out. So I took the dictionary and looked it up, and son, son, finest son, son of somebody, that's fine. Then, uh, bitch, okay, so look at, look at, son. Bitch is, you know, it's a female dog. I said, all right, female dog. So, son of the female dog, there's got to be a puppy. I said, well, this guy was pretty nice with us, you know. He looked mean, but he was really nice, you know, puppy dog. Yeah, that's all right. Bella kept that in mind when he finally got a job teaching gymnastics at a summer clinic run by the University of Oklahoma. Gymnastics at a summer clinic run by the University of Oklahoma. So I was teaching gymnastics, and when they really done well, I said, oh, 
good little son of a bitch. Good son of a bitch. You deserve it. And the kids were looking at me. What in the world is this guy? <laughs> I had trouble. Actually, the first workout, we were vaulting. And he goes, okay, Mary Lou. He goes, do handstand, handstand. And, I, and it was my turn. I looked behind and I asked Diane. I said, what did he say? What did he say? Boof, boof. Come on. Boof, boof. Boof, 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 boof. Hoppa. Woo. He just gives a lot of different sound effects. Just a regular, normal person would come in and think he was crazy. But it's something that you have to learn to live with. Bella says he'd been told when he came to the U.S. that American kids are spoiled and undisciplined and wouldn't work hard enough. It was a matter of concern until he realized, after his first few weeks of teaching here, that he couldn't find those faults in his students. And to this point, their success in competition has proved him right. Honolulu, November 1986. At a gymnastics competition between the U.S. and China, the ceremonial aspects had special significance for Bella and his athletes. Instead of having to turn his gymnasts over to another coach to represent the U.S., Bella, for the first time, will be an accredited coach for his new country and permitted to remain on the floor. Christy Phillips and Phoebe Mills, those two competitors in Bella's gym, are here on his team, along with four other members. They are now competing together, not only with a strong team from China, but with U.S. athletes and U.S. coaches from gyms in other cities. The highlights you'll see feature Christy, Phoebe, and the Chinese gymnast you're watching in the red outfit, Chen Ching. performances and bobbles on both sides kept the team scores neck and neck to the end but that suspense is apparent without color commentary when you watch through the eyes of u.s coach bella caroli yeah. control pb You went just too hard for it. Easy. Picking easy. You went too, too fast on the beginning with 200 miles an hour. Easy. Smooth. All right. No. All right. But, oh, the mistake is mistake. I want to see how kind of competitive you are now. How guts you have. Because you have guts. If you want it, okay? As much you can. Just nice as much. You can do it. I know it. floor exercises would also decide the team championship. Chen Ching's performance was spectacular. Championship on the line, again with Bella seeming to synchronize himself into it, Phoebe Mills proved herself a star. Dance that, Phoebe. Dance that now. All right. Good. 
Good old girl. Control. Phoebe got a 9.85 in the floor exercise, and the overall results could hardly have been better for Bella Caroli. Oh, did it. All right. That was a good one, really good. His team led the U.S. to a win, and athletes from his gym won first and second in the individual honors, though not as the experts might have predicted. This time, Phoebe Mills was the gold medalist. Christy Phillips placed second. Old friends were there to congratulate the team and Bella, who, despite his first win from the floor with a U.S. team, still will not be eligible to coach in the 88 Olympics. He will miss within a few weeks of qualifying as a citizen. But through his athletes, Bella Caroli will somehow be in the midst of that competition. By choice, I'm here. And uh, I knew it. If work, work very hard, sometimes, some days, I'm going to make it again. And that's happened all my life. I love competitions. I love to go out and to compete. And uh, when I'm going out, I'm not concerning about anything else than to be the winner, to win. And I love to win. <laughs> that's the truth. What a lovable character. He makes competing that tough seem like absolutely the right thing to do. The kids are so young, though, Bob. Eight, nine years old. Well, it's true. The kids are essentially still training at the same young age that they've always trained at. Bella started to put them into competition at a younger age because he feels that they're less distracted and they're fearless. Mm. What happens to the ones who don't win? So few can become Well, it's true medalists. that the odds are yeah. very long, but in a way the fact that it'll all be over by the time they're in the early 20s uh, works for them because they do still realize that they have to plan ahead for education and career goals. Oh, the one that wins. Uh, Thank you, Bob. It's wonderful.